Test, 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 test. Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh Weekly. And as always, I'm Robo. This is the look of a guy who spent way too much time last night on the internet just looking for toy pictures. This is the face. Okay, there were a couple of hours of Red Dead 2 getting on the online servers and then just fighting to stay on. I finally said, to hell with it. I'm going back to look at toy pictures. But this is the face of a guy that now gets to talk about all those pictures. And there is a lot to talk about. I did, Tokyo Comic Con, Metacom just kind of showed the same stuff they've shown. I haven't seen a lot of exciting stuff from other companies, but, ooh, did Bandai just really lay it out all on the table. But there's also some Marvel Legends, some model kits, some Mezco. It's not all just rainbow and sunshines. Yes, sunshines is plural now. Some Super 7, some Hasbro Transformers, that's different. Some Mattel, some Marvel Select, some other crap. Let's just get into it. First up, last week I talked about the new promotional shots for the Hasbro Marvel Legends Black Panther series. They're right around the corner, they're looking great, but I said T'Chaka was an all-new sculpt, and that's a total lie. People were quick to point out, and I totally missed it, it's kind of crazy how different he does look, but the torso and the arms are reused from a Black Panther, and the legs and waist are from the movie Marvel Legends Doctor Strange. You throw a beautiful sash over it, you change the colors up a little bit, and I'm just like, all new sculpt, give me. Now the feet are different, the head is different, and of course the sash, just drawing your eye to it. It's a beautiful piece, even if it is reuse. I'm totally down for this. Even better, this wave has been sighted in Hong Kong. You can find it on eBay at the moment. I'm not paying those prices though. But the packages are cool. It's weird that on the back they didn't use toy pictures. Maybe this wave was pushed out so fast, so hard, that they didn't have time for the pretty promotional shots on the back of the package. But I do find the yellow and the fade they did around very striking. If I collected packages, then it would be cool. But I don't. I collect the plastic. But don't go to eBay. Don't be paying crazy prices because this wave, along with the Spider-Man Legends Kingpin wave, go up for pre-order tonight. And this is Friday. <laughs> this is going up on Friday. The pre-orders are going up Friday night. If you're watching this Saturday or Sunday, and saying you missed the pre-order, that's because you missed watching this video a couple days ago. If you head over to sponsor Dorkside Toys, he'll have it up uh, about midnight, maybe a little bit earlier, who knows? Just keep checking. Also going up for pre-orders tonight is the Hasbro Select series, Transformers Swoop and Ricochet. I can't keep track of all the Transformers coming out. I think these are new. I, I hadn't seen these before, but I'm really liking the figures that are coming out right now. I'm really tempted by the Optimus Prime, the Megatron, but I'm sticking with my Toys Alliance MAS figures. But if you're buying the Hasbro stuff, these look like great additions to that. The swoop in those colors is just, it just kind of pops. And I do believe Ricochet is a comic book character. Don't fill up my comment section. Don't do it of the history of Ricochet and who he is in the Transformers universe and why he's important and such. Well, go ahead and do it. I don't care. They just look like great figures. But also we have leaked pictures of the Takara masterpiece, MP44 Optimus Prime. Now they say this is more G1 inspired, more cartoon inspired, and I have to say, oh, being a G1 man myself, that looks fantastic. That, that is tempting. Like I said, I'm sticking with my MAS figures. They're big, they're nice, they're bulky, but this, oh. But before I go, oh, the accessories are cool and all this other kind of stuff and it even transforms room, that's, it's $440, holy shit. Yes, it does come with a lot of accessories. It comes with the hose thing with the things on the end and the thing and the jet pack and the alternate heads, the beat up prime head and the storm scream head and the energy axe and this and the sword and the trailer and it comes with a lot of stuff. It does. And the figure does look phenomenal. It's insane how good this thing looks. But, I, whew, $440 good? $440 worth of accessories? I don't know. I, I really don't think so. Maybe because I don't collect Masterpiece, I'm not used to the price points here. I, I don't know. I, but $440, it better transform and play with me. Prime, 
was up on Big Bad Toy Story. They've been pulled down. The pre-orders start next Wednesday. Here's the Bandai Spirits Figure Rise Dragon Ball Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, or Super Saiyan Blue, whichever you prefer, Vegito. Could have seen this coming a mile away. The Super Saiyan Vegito released recently, a little while back. This is essentially that in a different color scheme. I don't even know how different the color scheme is. It's just him with the blue hair. But I love the damn blue hair. Why do I love that so much? You put a figure in this metallic looking blue hair and I want it. Even though I'm not that familiar with Vegito. Several sets of hands, alternate faces, uh, effect. Like I said, this is essentially the model kit we already got, just different colors. They didn't even bother to change the picture. Flip, 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 flip. But this is $20 and it releases in Okay, I'm going to talk about some Mezco 112 Collective, and you know this has been a heartbreaking week for a lot of people. First, they started the countdown timer last Friday for Monday's release of the Sovereign Knight Batman Onyx Edition. It's essentially just Sovereign Knight in black. It's kind of glossy. I'm not sure if the final figure will be that glossy. I think there's some Photoshop going on. I think there may be some prototype paint going on. Hopefully, it'll be just a little bit duller. And I said last week that this was the Mezcoized version of... Keaton Batman? Not quite. Close. I, I don't know. You could use it if you... I, I guess the yellow logo on the chest is what is the biggie for me. And the thing here, because of the countdown, everybody and their mother knew when this was going up. So everybody was on Mezco sites just, just waiting. F5, 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 F5. F5's not on the mouse. I don't know what I'm doing. And it sold out in about 20 minutes. Being a Mezco exclusive, it doesn't go overseas. It's only sold on the sites. So... I'm not, why talk about price? Why talk about release date? If you don't have it secured by now, mm. the same goes for the Netflix Daredevil Vigilante Edition. This one lasted a little bit longer because there was no countdown, so people weren't as prepared for it. This one lasted a good 40 minutes. Woo! But this is what I wanted when the Mezco 112th Collective line first started. Realistic characters in realistic garb. They're not trying to translate the comic spandex costume to real life this looks like clothes this looks like a real dude standing in a costume and i do like the daredevil vigilante season one i thought when's he gonna get the red costume when 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 and then when he finally did i was kind of like I, I think i like the black costume better so i had to jump on this as soon as possible but again it's mezco exclusive if you don't have it secured i don't I hate even talking about it because it's just like, neener, 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 look what you can't get, but it's toys, I gotta talk about it. Don't kill the messenger. It's, I didn't buy all of them. But what is coming out, it looks like the Mezco 112th Collective Popeye has hit overseas. And this is one of those where it's not a realistic person, but damn it if they didn't do a fantastic job of translating it kind of into a realistic look. So hopefully this starts hitting in the next month or so. I need it. Continuing on with some heartbreaking figures. If you were in for the Super 7 Holiday He-Man, that thing sold out even faster than the Mezco stuff. It's essentially the Filmation He-Man in a Santa hat, candy cane sword, packaging, and then wrapping paper around that, which is all cool. It's good. But because this wasn't a pre-order, they actually have these manufactured. They start shipping in the next week or so. I don't know if they cut down the numbers or if they just went by the numbers or this is more popular than the online community is letting on because I've seen a lot of comments of what a lazy damn figure what I missed it holy shit super 7 even went back and canceled some of the double orders or people that didn't play by the rules of a limit of two and offered it up for sale again boom gone again I'm but a humble messenger big bad toy store has put up the pre-orders for the Mattel DC multiverse Lobo wave which consists of Kingdom Come, I forgot what I was saying there for a second. Kingdom Come Superman. Who comes with alternate hands, which is real super exciting there. Kid Flash, who also just comes with some alternate hands. I'm not, I can't grab too much. We've seen lots of action figures from lots of companies come with very minimal accessories. But when I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, you're trying to get customers back. Let's reel them in a little bit. Because Kyle Rayner Green Lantern comes with a lantern and then an energy effect. And then there's Batman Beyond. In the picture, he comes with alternate hands. He comes with an alternate head. Very cool. He comes with batarangs. In the promotional shot, no wings. In the listing on Big Bad Toy Store, no wings. But the sculptor, well, a sculptor for the line, and then Jason, the former employee who posts on Instagram a lot, they have confirmed that he does come with his wings. That's nice confirmation. But why don't we hear this from Mattel themselves? I give Mattel a lot of shit. 
because I want to see them succeed. I want them to start pumping out the figures. I want them to be back in the heyday that they had with DC Universe Classics. And I know that line was bumpy too, but it felt better. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. I want good DC figures. I know you can order them online, but geez, some of the stuff we've seen a couple years ago, <laughs> and I say that as a bad thing as we're about to get into Bandai in a minute of, geez, we've seen that stuff years ago. Where is that at? I don't know what I'm grabbing about at this point. The Star Wars Black Series Archive Edition of Bosk has also been found overseas, which this, along with the Black Panther Legends Wave, it's coming soon. It's coming in the next month, 1st of January, so we're used to seeing stuff hit overseas first. But man, the packaging on this looks great. I, we've seen it before, but seeing it with an actual figure in hand, knowing that it's just around the bend, it looks even better, doesn't it? Mm -mm -mm. Diamond Select recently posted that there was going to be one more Disney Store exclusive Marvel Select this year, but didn't say what it was. I don't know if it's a licensing thing or a hype building thing, but for a figure to appear just out of the blue at a Disney Store in Culver City, California, we haven't had that in a long time, have we, where it's just been like, what the hell's going on here? It doesn't happen very often since the internet started. Back when the, in the magazine days, if some of you remember that, we'd look at the magazines and go, ooh, some of this stuff is cool. And we'd go to the stores and there would be stuff there that we didn't know was coming out. And what is this? Now we know stuff months in advance, sometimes years in advance, and by the time we finally get that stuff in our hands, we already know about so much stuff past that, it's just like, oh, this is cool, what's next? So for something like this, even though it is a lot of reuse, it's kind of cool. And it makes sense, the Venom movie did better than anyone expected it to do. Hell, it, big dumb fun. That's my review of it. I, I liked it. Plus, I never got the other Venom. I just thought of it as an oversized Eddie Brock, standard old schoolish version of Venom. This kind of skews away from that with the alternate heads. I can't name the artists that they're based on, but they're different. They look cool, so I'm down. It also comes with different accessories, tentacles. I've heard the base body is a little bit limited, but him just standing there, kind of looking monstrous after getting the Marvel Legends Monster Venom, this will go on the shelf too. It just looks neat. It is neat. And that puts us into Bandai at Tokyo Comic Con territory. Here we go. First up, Bandai teased that they were going to show Harry Potter's rival character, and I thought Voldemort what, What's the other thing. And a lot of people posted, it's probably Malfoy. And damn it, I was wrong. You were right. I, I'll admit it. This makes sense since they're starting with the Sorcerer's Stone. They seem to be sticking with that theme, at least for now. Hopefully it moves on, it gets to the later movies. But for now, it's going to be in there. And Voldemort wasn't in the... Was Voldemort... I don't know. I've seen all the movies several, several times, but in my brain I can't keep track of what happened in which movie. But I'm pretty sure full-on Voldemort didn't show up in Sorcerer's Stone. And this, this looks okay. I, I mean, I want to see it without the Comic-Con lights that Bandai is known for, where it's just harsh lighting, very hard to take pictures of. I thought the same thing about Harry when he first came out, and I reviewed it this last week. Holy shit, that's a pretty nice figure. On the Marvel side of things, oh, a lot of surprises here. We're used to them taking Star Wars and going, here's a bunch of stuff. You may see it, you may not, and I'll talk about that here in a minute. And they've done it at a couple of shows this past year, like with Captain America's USO costume, where it, it looks kind of goofy. We haven't seen that again since then. I can't remember anymore. But they're pulling out all the stops for Infinity War next year. And they, no, that's not a guarantee we're going to see all these figures but it's a better chance as big as that movie's gonna be. Agent Coulson, yes, the head's a little bit big, the sunglasses are a little bit big, he's got kind of a goofy smile, but God damn, it's Coulson. They said they were gonna show Scarlet Witch, they showed Scarlet Witch, that looks fantastic. But beside her is kind of a surprise in Nebula. Now, I really like the Marvel Legends Nebula. It's damn great with its face printing tech and stuff, but the purple, I think it's the purple on the face right here that just makes me, I'm gonna need that. They also said they were going to show Loki from Avengers. They're showing Loki from Avengers along with Thor from Avengers. They're showing Captain America and Bucky from Captain America Winter Soldier. This makes me kind of glad I passed on the Infinity War Bucky. Don't get me wrong, the face still looks a little bit off here, but I don't know if it's the hair or how much of the face is hidden. I, I like this one a lot better. Now some of these may be shown because of the rumored, spoiler alert, time travel aspect of the next Avengers movie. Or maybe they're just going back and 
pulling characters from older movies just to get figures out there. Because you're always going to sell Captain America's, you're always going to sell Thor's. Hell, they're even showing another Hulk based on the Hulk we just got, which is damn fantastic. Damn-tastic. Except this time around, he doesn't have the haircut from the one we got. It's much more just bleh. And then he's got the torn pants. That figure's so good, I'll buy it again. I, I have no qualms about it. If this was up for pre-order right now, I would be walking out on y'all later. Got a pre-order. But along with that, Instamashi themselves showed pictures of the Star Force Captain Marvel. Love the metallics, love the helmets, love the look all overall, but I'm gonna need me some regular Captain Marvel. And they're so proud of this one, they've already released the solicitation pictures. This is about the only figure on display that has a release date. And she looks good too. The matte blue, the metallic red, the face print, the, the hair itself, just everything about this figure looks great. And I'm not sure if it's a spoiler or not, but this also shows the alternate helmeted head. It's got the tuft of hair on top. Again, I, <laughs> it just looks good. I know I'm saying that a lot during this video, but man, there's a lot of good stuff today. Now she goes up for solicitation December 3rd, Sunday night. I, I haven't done the math yet on when exactly that is. Or I may be misleading you because I need to get my pre-order in first and then you can go get yours. She releases in March along with the movie. And then there's SH Figure Arts Star Wars stuff. And at this point, like I said, we're used to going, hey, what's, when's that, oh, Star Wars, oh, what, no. We're again seeing Queen Amidala, I, even if this is a traffic cone, give me. If you notice in the background, there is also a prequel Yoda sitting in the Jedi Council chair. We've already been shown the prequel Yoda with the open eyes, the lightsaber, action pose. This looks like alternate legs to go under. Man, if they release a prequel Yoda with this many accessories, the chair, the lightsaber, the alternate legs, different heads, how cool would that be? Also in that display, we see Jar Jar again. I need a Jar Jar, come at me. Darth Maul in some kind of cloth robe. What's up with that? Going over to another picture, they're also showing Jedi Luke in cloth robe, or well, cloth cape and hood. And they're calling it the Jabba's Palace version. Is this on the thing? <laughs> Beside him, Wicked again, there's the Royal Guard. I need all these. Hunting Carbonite, Ghost of Obi-Wan, we've seen those before. But then they start getting into stuff we haven't seen. They have a detention block diorama set up with Leia and Chewbacca, but they're also showing Stormtrooper Luke and Han <laughs> rolling back around again for a minute. They're finally showing the General Grievous that we saw years ago. Have we seen it since then? Either way, I don't know. This looks great. It, it's, it's almost like, oh, Hasbro showed their Black Series one? We better put this one out. And then he's surrounded by battle droids and clone troopers and super battle droids, all of which we've been seeing for years and years. But it's almost like the cork is out of the bottle for Empire Strikes Back. They're showing a Boba Fett in Empire Strikes Back colors. Looks good, but man, it's gonna take a lot to knock the Mafex Boba Fetts off their mountain. Dagobah R2-D2, which the SH Figure Arts R2-D2 is so good, I'll buy it in any colors you wanna give it to me. Muddied up like this, even better. Behind him, you see Snowspeeder Luke, which is a big surprise. I. We always see X-Wing Luke, or well, we're used to seeing so much X-Wing Luke from the Black series that seeing it in Snowspeeder gear is just, oh, ooh. And then beside them is also Dagobah Yoda. You knew this was coming. It wasn't like they were going to give us the prequel Yoda with, well, maybe they will. Maybe it will be prequel Yoda with all kinds of heads to make him the classic trilogy Yoda, along with the Jedi Council chair and some lightsabers and a cane. But like I have said several times, Every placard in this display says display, well, except for the stuff we're definitely getting, says display only. Ugh. We go through this game every show at this point. It's just like Bandai's, you want the ball? You want the ball? Huh? Go, get the ball? Huh? Huh? And every single time, at least I am, I'm just like, yeah, 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 give me the ball. Yeah, come on, come on, give me the ball. Give me the ball. Oh. But for some reason, just seeing this stuff gets me excited. In my brain, I'm thinking, Oh man, they could release a figure a month from now until 2025, and I'd be okay with that. My wallet wouldn't. Hey, shut the hell up. But they're not. They did not say anything about anything actually getting a release date. Hopefully, along with Captain Marvel going up December 3rd, they'll throw a Star Wars figure in there just to, hey, here's this for y'all too. But that's it for this week, and I apologize. I get excited about new toys. <laughs> Special thanks to my patrons. I know I... I don't do enough, <laughs> but we're gonna do another contest this month, give away some free stuff. Not give away, contest. 
to the correct answers and such. But if you enjoyed this, you comment, like, subscribe. You would think that would be easy for me to remember, but I, I have to concentrate every single time. I'll catch you on the foosh.